Hey everyone, this is East Coast Pete. Welcome back to Midrock Crisis. As you can see today, we're going to have a gander at Lena Lovich. She's comparable to no one. <laughs> Lena Lovich was born in 1949 in England. She left Detroit with her parents and then moved back to England all before the age of 13. She studied music at the Central School for Art and Design and became adept at saxophone and accordion. Singing gave her an outlet for her rampant, restless resilience. At age 29, she was signed by Stiff Records on the strength of her cover of Tommy James' I Think We're Alone Now. Stiff wanted to release it as a single, but they needed a B-side, so Lena composed her Lucky Number, which got national attention and made the top 40. She was soon hailed as a vanguard of the New Wave movement, associated with the music of Blondie, the Cars, television, and the talking heads. Considered art rock, perhaps a quick step back from punk rock, Lena Lovitch was perhaps the quirkiest and most flamboyant of her peers, if less well known. The first album, Skateless, went to number 35 on the Billboard chart. Music video, Pioneer, Lena opted for a kind of a Mad Hatter look, darkly clad and massacred, Rastafarian pigtails. Her hiccupy singing was accompanied by her hyper dramatic dance steps and odd lyrical themes. Her band had one foot in trip pop and the other in futuristic industrial rock. Her primary collaborator was Les Chapel. He created sonic landscapes for Lena's psychotheatrical video skits. He mixed guitar power chords with synthesizer backed by a strong, solid rhythm section. The music is very danceable. If you can get past its weird novelty. Droning, dirgy sound effects, doomsday backing, vocals, showy, lascivious, tongue-in-cheek, not cutesy or even overtly sexy, but still fascinating. She was a goth cheerleader, but not in a scary, hellish way and not in a dreamy, emo way either. You might be reminded of classic horror flicks from the 1930s. She was once employed as a provider of screams for movie soundtracks. She's like a demented angel, trapped in a gilded cage, plaintively and frantically warbling to an unseen or possibly non-existent gallery. And Lena is completely and utterly original. Flex is light years ahead of stateless. Every aspect is improved. And the overall effect is hypnotic. Bird song is about infidelity. What will I do without you? Grabs you and won't let go. Spacey Del Shannon like keyboard fills, spaces between the verses. Lena's voice is like a human theremin. Paranormal, relentless, sometimes cloying, never cruel. It's like a hit of nitrous oxide and a cold shower. A wink in an asylum. Which one of you eat all the flaming hot cheese? Creepy sauce? enough to send a chill up your spine. I hear a marimba, but it could be a synth. Lena is the Theta Barra of hardcore pop pitch. Joan of Arc, Joan Crawford, meet Joey Ramone. The answer lies behind your eyes, and it's not that far. 
1982, No Man's Land. This is her zenith. This is her finest contribution. And I adore this album. Her voice goes so much higher than you'd think was possible. Move over Minnie Riperton. I would not be surprised if her array goes above the human auditory range. She's Vincent Price's paramour, or maybe Dr. Five's supernatural daughter. I adore her. New Toy was an EP release. Her MTV video was like Charles Manson in a stare down with Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Blue Hotel is a masterpiece. I try to wonder what a room would cost there. Probably much more than I'd want to part with. Lena took a long break to raise her family. She and Les Chapel have settled down to enjoy domesticity. There were some short tours at the time. Lena had countless fans in Europe who waited for her next extravaganza. In 1989 March, it's not a gem like previous work. Lena can't go on like this indefinitely. She's only human, I think. If I met her on the street today, I bet she's unrecognizable. And a very nice and peaceful person, maybe. Her single, Wonderland, did not chart. 2005, Shadows and Dust, billed as her comeback after raising her family. So, Mom, what'd you do in the 80s? Critics thought this album was 20 years too late. Still gleefully off-kilter as ever. Insect Eater track rocks pretty hard. Album called Susie Like. I'd say Susie is Lovich like. Critics were kind and welcomed her back with good reviews. But in my mind, she has lost a step. Or maybe the whole rest of our world has now just become weirder across the board, and Lena just blends in more. She picked up new musicians in 2012, and as of 2019, she is still touring all over Europe. I'm sure we all lose a step or two by the time that we're 70. After Patty, and maybe Joni Mitchell, Lena, will always be my lucky number one. Because I know what I like, and I know where I can get it. Thanks, everyone. Come back and see me soon.